Hello guys, I am back from another video and today we're talking about what if Bell had the ability to summon heroic spirits. So, um, before we actually start, I'm gonna be making this pretty short of a video because, well, I'm currently gonna be making a report. And it's due tomorrow! <sighs> Why didn't my teacher, like, them tell me last time? Or at least, like, texted me? Because we basically have a GC, like, already for it. But either way, so... In the last video, we talked about how, well, it was pretty simple. Um, just a bit of, like, you know, a bit of, like, bonding with, you know, with one of his heroic spirits. Specifically, you know, well, Koi and Skaya. And after a bit of that, and also a bit of that, they would decide to get some sleep. But, you know, we go to a different perspective. In this case, Hessian and Lobo, where we finally see, you know, um, Hessian's, you know, I guess you'd say sort of personality, but more like, you know, um, how he actually talks, where he was basically talking how his mas- like, how their master is basically like, you know, how he's pretty nice and not disrespectful at all, even though they're basically servants to him. But either way, while they're basically patrolling the city, they would notice a caravan of people, more specifically, people that seem, you know, that seem to be mostly, you know, Amazonesses. And apparently, one of them that seems to be the leader is named... Apparently, his apparently her name is Aisha Belka, or at least I think that's the pronunciation of her name. But either way, when they arrived at the city, they would basically talk about how they're going to be capturing, you know, Bell. But while they were talking about that, you know, both you know, both Hesse and Lobo, thanks to the help of like you know, press concealment, would obviously hear that and decide to basically try and ruin their day. And so, after unconcealing themselves, after basically, like, you know, jumping from the roof and standing before them, all of them would start getting ready to fight, as, after doing so, they would basically wreck the shit out of them. Oh boy, let's just say they're basically, like, you know, lambs to the slaughter, as some would say. As, you know, they would basically be defeated in an instant, including, you know, well, her herself, aka, you know, Aisha. As Aisha would basically vow sort of revenge, but also after hearing that they're basically going to protect their master, which kind of concerned her because after hearing that basically their master is, you know, Belle, well, they would basically start running away to the hills, or in this case, you know, back to, you know, to the Pleasure City or whatever it's called at this point. And so, after doing so, the episode would basically end where we basically see, you know, both, you know, um, Hessian and Lobo basically get ready to go to sleep. But, while they were doing so, well, one of them specifically, you know, well, a certain goddess, aka Freya, was watching the whole fight and also watching them. Which kind of intrigued her after hearing that apparently their master is Izuku, which made her even more intrigued and more interested in getting him, like, getting him into her side. And so, that's where we basically ended off the episode. So yeah, so, let us talk about what happens next, ladies and gents. So, we currently see, you know, Bell basically waking up, as he would say this. <sighs> morning, guys, he would say. As, you know, Koi and Sky would say this. Oh, morning, Bell, she would say. As, after saying that, she would say this. Now. I think it's time for us to get uh, get ready to leave, she would say. As you'd say this. Oh, um, is it time for us to basically go home, he would say. As she would say this. Yeah. Hmm. I hope you like your, you know, uh, like vacation, she would say. As you'd say this. Well, pretty much, he would say. I mean, it was basically really fun. And not only that, after experiencing all of these new things, especially with, you know, your NFF services, well, let's just say I sort of appreciate all of your help. I mean, it's quite a lot, he would say. Ah, she would say this. Hmm. Why, thank you, she would say. Now, we should probably get moving. As, after saying that, she would basically, you know, look at, you know, Hesian and Lobo, as both of them are currently still pretty much asleep. Ah, she would say this. Ah, she would just sigh a little bit. As she would just, you know, grab, you know, or at least manifest a gun, as after doing so, she would basically, you know, shoot a, a little bullet near, like, Kessian and Lobo's side, as would cause them to wake up in an instant, as, you know, Lobo would say this. What? What the? What did you do, woman? He would say. As she would say this. I was trying to wake you up, but unfortunately, because of your, you know, 
your damn thick-headedness. Well, you couldn't, like, wake up, she would say. As he would say this. Oh, damn woman, he would say. As after saying that, he would sigh. As after doing so, he'd say this. Oh, all right, I'm gonna get some, you know. I'm gonna be eating, he would say. As after saying that, he would start moving with Hessian. As after doing so, she would say this. Yeah, we should probably eat breakfast. As after doing so, they would eat breakfast as they would start leaving. Saying goodbye to, you know, to, to you know, to the, the employees of, like, NFF services. As after leaving, they would start arriving back at the, you know, at their familiar household. As after doing so, he would open the door as he would say this. Hey, guys, how are you? As after saying that, he would see some of his heroic spirits basically, like, you know, Somewhat tired, some of them basically talking, as, you know, you know, as you would notice, you know, Hestia basically, you know, coming towards them at basically rapid speed, as you'd say, Belle, she would say, as after saying that, she would say this, oh, it's been a while, she would say, as she would basically hug on to Belle, as you would say this, oh, um, hey, um, Hestia, he would say, can you get off me, he would say, as she would say this, oh, yeah, sorry about that, she would say, as Belle would say this, well, it's been a while, he would say, as he would look towards the others, as he would say this. Hey, um, Hestia, what happened to them, he would say, as she would say this. Oh, about that, she would say, as one of them would say this, specifically, you know, um, Oberon. Not Oberon, I'm not Oberon, I meant, you know, a thespian. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just pretty much, you know, wondering if, you know, if all of you guys, you know, not really all of you guys, but more like, you know, if all of you guys, you know, should have, like, uh, should have, like, you know, picked, like, Oberon, because he's one of my new favorite servants at the time. But either way, you know, you know, he he Vespian would say this. <sighs> let's, let's just say, your, your, as one of them would say this, specifically, you know, um, yeah, Berserker, aka, you know, well, Morgan would say this. Yeah, let's just say Beth has been pretty much chatting us about, you know, where did you go? And let's just say she was not happy. And not only that, let's just say her eyes are starting to become a little bit as you would see this. Oh god no, he would say as she would see this. Oh god yes, she would say. Well, I guess you're gonna die here, said you know, um you know said, you know, Gilgamesh, as Gilgamesh would see this. Oh, yeah, and you're probably gonna get your pelvis, you know, turned into a fine powder, he would say. As it would cause, you know, Bell to basically shrink a little, saying to himself, Why me? He would say. As after saying that, you know, one of them would say this. Well, I mean, you have that certain charm, said, you know, um, said Emia, as he would say this. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, did anything significant happen here besides, you know, that, he would say. As one of them would say this, oh, yeah, about that, he would say, specifically, you know, um, hmm. Oh, um, about that, said, you know, Jessica de Molloy, as, or just Jessica, as she would say this. Well, um, recently we got in contact with the, uh, the Ishtar Familia, she would say, as she would say this, huh? What about them, he would say, as one of them being Gilgamesh would say this. Well, apparently that stupid goddess would decide to, you know, try and attack you. But thankfully we, you know, thankfully you were not there so they couldn't, like, get you. One of them would say, as would say this. Ah, I see, he would say. As one of them would say this. Oh, sorry about that. Um, one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, um, you know, um, Meltralisp, I meant. As Meltralisp would say this. Well, not only that, one of them even tried to, you know, um, pry some info out of me. But thankfully, because of my skill, she would say, as she would basically, you know, um, pump up her chest, as she would say this. I was easily able to beat them, she would say, as one of them would say this. Yeah, barely, said, you know, well, Burgeist, as she would say this. Hey, she would say, as, you know, Burgeist would say this. Uh-uh, that's true. But either way, she would start looking towards Spell as she would say this. Well, um, apparently during your battle between, you know, as she would start, you know, well, having, basically she's pinching the, you know, the pinching the, like, the bridge of her temple, as she would say this. Or at least the pinching her temples, or whatever you want to call it at this point, she would say this. Well, you see, 
Let's just say something chaotic happened, she would say, as you would see this. Um, what is, as she would see this. Well, apparently there was a, um, during, you know, while you were basically, you know, doing your own thing, basically having a vacation, apparently the Loki and the, you know, Apollo Familia had a little battle. It was actually quite nice. Um, luckily, you know, the Loki Familia basically beat them without even getting a scratch, she would say, as you would see this. Well, it was pretty obvious who would win, he would say, as she would say this. Yeah, and let's just say the guy by the name of Hyacinthus or something, as, you know, after hearing that, you know, mostly the Greek ones, more specifically, um, what are their names? Specifically, Europa would, and also sort of, you know, Hephaestian, because, you know, Rome is basically right next to Greece, so I guess, as you would see this. Yeah, the bastard kind of deserved it. Was said one of, like said both of them. As you would see this. Oh, that narcissistic asshole. He would say. As one of them would see this. Yeah, I do have to agree. When we first met, he proclaimed that he's going to, you know, going to make, you know, bit. And I quote, his bitch. Said one of them. As he would say this. Oh, really? He would say. As he would start, you know, bring out some malicious intent. As one of them would say this. Ah, uh, don't worry. Said you know, Emia. As you would say this. Well, let's just say he's now no longer has his manhood, he would say, as he would say this. So, castration, he would say, as he would say this. Castration, he would say, as he would say this. I see. As after saying that, wait for a second, god dang it. Sorry about that, anyway, continue on with the episode. So, as after saying that, you know, um, Hessian would see this. Hmm. What interesting, you know, what an interesting, you know, thing to happen, he would say. As one, you know, one of them would say this. Specifically, um, you know, Gilgamesh, as Gilgamesh would say this. Ha ha ha! After all, that bastard isn't, you know, great enough to basically get Miss Beth's, you know, attention after all. After all, it is Master's, you know, wife after all, he would say, as Belle would say this. Well, technically she's not my wife because we didn't marry, but still, he would say, as he would say this. Well. If you were to say get married, I'll be your, I'll gladly be your best man. He would say, as you know, um, you know, Coin Sky would say this. Yeah, yeah, please shut up, you. She would say, as he would say, this. Uh, hey, he would say, as one of them would say this. All right, can all of you please calm down? He would say, as one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, um, um, Melisine, as she would say this. Hey, big brother, she would say. As you would say this. Uh, Metal Sign, what is it? As she would say this. Um, you know, something happened during the dungeon, she would say. I mean, she would say, as you would say this. Wait, really? She would say? I mean, he would say, as she would say this. Yeah, we sort of saw this weird looking substance. It's kind of similar to the, you know, to the monster that we fought last time in the dungeon, she would say. As you would say this. You mean the. As you would say this, yeah. The black mud, she would say. As he would say this. I see, he would say. As after saying that, you know, all of them would be quiet. You know, with a bit of silence in like in between them. As Bell would say this. Well, I guess we should probably stop here now. As after saying that, one of them would say this. So, um wanna eat? Said, you know, um hmm, Yeah. Said a, you know, quite, you know, um, let's just say, um, awkward Astrea, as you'd say this. Actually, that's sort of, you know, that's sort of a great idea, he would say. Um, but this time, we should probably go to a restaurant instead. After all, hey, Emia, as you'd start looking at Emia, as he would say this. Yeah, he would say, as you'd say this. Uh, you're probably tired of, like, cooking, so I think it's better for us to basically eat out, he would say, as you'd say this. Hmm, I guess so, he would say. As Hestia would see this. Yeah, let's do that, she would say. As after saying that, they would start, you know, getting ready for, you know, for basically going to a nearby restaurant, more specifically, a tavern. And even more specifically, you know, the hostess of fertility. And after changing, they would start, you know, leaving and basically locking out their, you know, locking up the, you know, their... Actually, it's not... I meant, you know... Not guild, I meant their, you know, Loki, their, or not Loki, I meant, you know, their HQ, or headquarters. As after arriving at, you know, the hostess of fertility, they would basically walk in as every, you know, every person in the bar, or, you know, or in the tavern would basically go silent. 
they would basically, you know, just be silent, saying to themselves, Is that the Hestia Familia? said one of them, as one of them would say this. Yeah, apparently they're super powerful. Even stronger than, you know, even, probably even stronger than the Freya Familia and the, you know, Loki Familia combined, said one of them. As one of them would say this. Yeah, and their head leader, or sort of leader, um, that bell guy, he's quite powerful, and not only that, quite ruthless in battle, said one of them, as one of them would say this, yeah, I even almost got caught by him, said one of them, as he would say this, oh, come on, the last time that you got caught is by, you know, a stupid kitchen knife, he would say, as he would say this, hey, he would say, as Bell would say this, all right, guys, so what do you want to order, he would say, as one of them would say this, hmm, I'll probably go for the steak, said, you know, you know, a interested Gilgamesh. <sighs> a interested Gilgamesh, as, you know, one of them would see this. Specifically, you know, Europa, I meant Europa, as she would see this. Hmm. I'll probably go for... Probably that thing over there, she would say. As she would start looking at the menu and would see, or at least Belle would see, um, a large ass, like, you know, plate of, like, you know, potato crisps. As, after seeing them, he would say this. Alright then, and as for me, I would probably go for, you know, some, this, you know, this new food item, he would say. As one of them would say this. Oh, really? Said one of them, as he would say this. Yeah, apparently they're called dumplings. I meant dumplings. And apparently they're from, you know, from, you know, the Eastlands, he would say. As one of them would say this, specifically Ambia. Huh. Dumplings, he would say. As after saying that, they would basically, you know, tell the, you know, the waitress about their orders. And so, they would basically wait for, you know, their dinner. As after a while waiting, they would notice the, you know, waitress basically arrive with their food. And after doing so, they would, you know, say ikidakimasu. And after doing so, they would slowly start to eat. After a while of eating, they would basically start to leave. So, after, you know, a while basically walking, you know, through the streets, they would decide to, you know, have a sort of like, you know, hangout session, I guess you can say. Where Belle and the rest of the others basically, you know, go around town having a bit of fun, playing around, having, you know, um, you know, having a bit of like, um, a fun time, even, you know, um, having a bit of a, you know, how do I say this? Um, a, I guess you could say, like, you know, game session where they're basically, you know, basically playing some carnival games. Which, apparently, um, there is, like, a holiday in that world. Or, uh, that, that is not canon, by the way. That is not canon. But let's just say that. So, it was basically, like, a holiday celebrating the, you know, the gods of this, you know, of this country or the city as they were basically having games. Even making a game for Hestia, as after a while playing, they would start, you know, leaving. After arriving back home, they would basically, you know, get ready to go to sleep once again, and so all of them would instantly fall asleep. So, the next day has come as everybody was basically, you know, doing their normal routine. In Izuku's case, he's basically going through the dungeon with the help of, like, his other heroic spirits. More specifically, Birdgeist, Emiya, and finally Melusine are basically with him. And for the others, they would also be there as well. And after a while, basically dungeon crawling through the, you know, through the dungeon, they would basically, you know, arrive at a large looking, you know, altar. As, uh, by the way, it's not altar, as in, you know, um, an altar from Fake Grand Order. No, it's like a stage thing. As, you know, Izuku would say this. Huh, what is that, he would say. As one of them would say this. Hmm, it seems to be some sort of altar, said, you know, Emiya, as he would say this. Ah, I see, he would say, as after saying that, he would start, you know, you know, basically, like, uh, tracing his hands through, like, the weird-looking symbols on it, or runes, as one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, bird guys. I have a bad feeling, she would say, as one of them would say this. Hey, don't jinx it, said, you know, um, Bill Sign, as she would say this. Eh, <sighs> whatever, she would say. Hey. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just a bit tired from school, and the reason why I'm still doing it, uh, because I'm tired as well. Um, I still want to, you know, provide some videos with you guys. I absolutely love you guys, and, you know, you know, even though some of you guys, um, you know, don't support me by, you know, by not subscribing, 
and also liking my videos so the algorithm can basically, you know, send my videos off to basically other, you know, to other, you know, to other unsuspecting people, but still. I love all of you guys, especially the ones that basically subscribe to me. You're the special ones to say the least. But either way, after... wait for a freaking second... Sorry about that, anyway, continuing on with the episode, as currently with, you know, with, you know, Bell, as while well, he was... God fucking damn it! After arriving at, you know, you know, after arriving back home, he would, you know, he would say this. Not really arriving back home, I meant, god dang it! Ugh, I meant, after a while, basically, like, dungeon crawling with, you know, with Melusine, Emia, and, you know, well, Burgeist, as Burgeist would say this. Well, uh, that was a bit tiring, as after saying that, he would say this. Yeah, I do agree. As after saying that, they would start looking at the altar once again, as one of them would say this. So, what is this altar anyway, said, you know, Burgeist, as I would say this. I don't know, but it definitely feels we. but before they can say anything else, you know, Burgeist would basically, you know, prick her finger on a piece of, like, you know, stone, as she would say, ow! That kind of hurts, she would say, as after dropping the blood in, or at least onto the, you know, the large, you know, altar, something starts to happen. The blood would start, you know, slowly forming into something else. As she would say this, what the? As both the, like all, like all of them would basically get ready for weapons in case of this monster basically getting ready to attack. As after the blood fully forms, it would resemble a large dog. A dog that seems to be like a mix of like a pit bull and also, you know, a Doberman. As its sharp teeth would be visible. As it seems to be sharper than knives itself. As it slowly starts to, you know, well, transform into a large dog. As it seems to be a fusion between a Doberman and also a pit bull. As it would start looking at all of them. As it would start barking incoherently. As... You know, they would also notice on its back, something that resembles a sword. A sword that seems to be embedded in its back. As after a while basically barking, it would lunge towards Bell. as Bell would say this. Oh no you don't, he would say, as he would bring out his, you know, flintlock pistols and fire at the dog. Blinding its eyes, it would cause him to basically scream. As the dog would, you know, would start barking once again, as Bell would say this. What the heck is that? As he would start looking at Burgeist, which Burgeist seems to be trembling in fear as she would say no no not you she would say as she would start you know um clenching on her head as she would say not you she would say as she would start you know you know basically like stretching a bit of her hair basically feeling all the pain and suffering from whatever that thing is as Bell would say this Burgess are you okay as she would say get away from me she would say as Bell would say this what the heck is going on he would start looking at the others as one of them would say this Specifically, Melisine. As Melisine would say this. Hmm. It seems to be whatever aspects she would say. As she would say aspects, she would say. As she would say this. Yes. Her aspect being the mighty dog known as Burgeist. After all, she is named after her. Or at least it. It's a dog that, that basically sends chaos and ruin against anybody that basically stands before it. So. Be ready, she would say. So, you know, so be ready, she would say. As after saying that, you know, one of them would say this. Um, sure, said, you know, Emiya. Said Emiya. As Emiya would basically build up his guns, as after doing so, he would start, you know, firing at, you know, firing at the beast. Including Bell and Melisine. Melisine would basically charge in and would start punching the dog in an instant. Basically beating it down with his with her fists. As would cause the dog immense pain and suffering a little bit. As the dog would basically slowly come back. As the sword would slowly come out of him. Through his chest and to his back. Basically dropping down to the ground. As the dog, or Burgeist in this case, would slowly start to you know, grab onto the sword. As it would start, you know wielding it in its mouth. Similar to Sifor, or at least I think that's the name from Dark Souls 1. Or at least I think that's from Sar Dark Souls 1. It's basically the giant wolf that used to be, you know, um, a friend of, like, Artorias, or the pet of Artorias. As after wielding the sword, it would start charging towards them with instant speed, as chains would start to come out of the, the, 
you know, the large ass, you know, well, wound where the dog sore basically came out from. As after doing so, Bob would say this. All right, let's get ready. She would say. I mean, he would say. As after saying that, she would start charging towards the large ass dog, and so the fight would begin. As Bell would start slowly clashing with the thing, as the dog would start, you know, slashing at him with his sword. As for Emia, he would start shooting at him once again, as it would cause the dog to basically get his attention. As the dog would slowly, you know, charge towards him, as it would, you know, bear its claws. As before it can actually slash towards him, its claws would basically be cut off, or at least one of his claws, by, you know, you know, our lovely little, you know, cinnamon roll, aka, you know, Melosine. As, as Melosine would say this, sorry, but I won't let you touch, you know, my sort of like father, she would say, as she would start charging towards him once again, and they would start clashing. As for Emiya, Emiya would basically, you know, compose himself as, once again, he would start charging towards him and start shooting him down. The large-ass dog would start screaming out in pain and would start, you know, you know, would start, you know, slashing at him in an instant, basically growling out and almost seemingly really, actually not really seemingly, but more like extremely pissed off. As for Bell, Bell would obviously, you know, start, you know, shooting down, you know, more bullets at him. As would cause the dog to basically just go like, you know, all right, tight, uh, no, no more fucking around. He would like basically just like imagine that. As the dog would start sprouting up more chains, I would start wrapping, you know, wrapping around, you know, well, bird guys. As bird guys would say this, no, no, she would say. As she would start, you know, slowly trying to get out of there. As Bo would say this, bird guys. He would say. As it would cause the dog to basically open its mouth, getting ready to eat her. As she would say, no. I will never be you, she would say. As before she can basically be, you know, eaten, Belle would basically charge in and would slice the chains off of her. As the dog, you know, would basically scream out in pain, like, you know, scream out in pain once again, as Belle would notice that its chains are basically a part of him, as you would say this. Well, 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 it seems that we have something interesting here, he would say. As after saying that, he would slowly, you know, uh, pick up his sword once again, as you'd say this. Well then, let's take care of this, he would say. As he would start, you know, getting ready his broadsword, as he would say this. Now, let flaming hell, let freezing ice burn you and freeze you, he would say. As after saying that, both ice and fire would start engulfing him, as he would say this. Now, let's finish this off, he would say. As after saying that, he would say this. Now... Freeze to death, he would say, as after saying that, you know, a part of the dog would basically, you know, would shatter into ice, as you say this, now, burn, he would say, as you would slash towards it, as the fire would basically burn half of the body of the large dog, and after doing so, it would fall to the ground, as Bell would say this, <sighs> got it, he would say, as one of them would say this, Bell, are you okay? He said, you know, Bray guys, as he would say this. Yeah, I'm fine, he would say. As one of them would say this. Oh, good, said Emiya. As, you know, one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, you know, Metal Sign. As she would say this. Good. Now, we should probably start leaving. As Bo would say this. Yeah, we should, he would say. As after saying so, they would start leaving. But unbeknownst to them, the large ass orb. Not really or but more like, you know, um, the dead body of the, you know, monster, or, you know, large-ass dog, would not disappear, but instead, linger there. As several monsters would basically come out of where the hole, basically, you know, the hole where Belle and the others basically, you know, came out of. At least came in them. You know, came in. As after the monsters arrived, they would slowly, you know, go towards the large-ass monster. And would start, you know, poking it, thinking that it's still alive. But to them, thankfully, it's dead. And so they would start eating it. And slowly, we see, you know, the, you know, the camera basically panning in. And would see, you know, the eyes of the monsters, com you know, completely turn blood red. And so, that's where we're going to be ending this episode right off here. So yeah, so... Unfortunately, I couldn't make it a long video because remember, still pretty much busy with, you know, with school. So yeah, so I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time.
Bye-bye.